you're talking, make sure you look straight into that. Okay. Um, God saved me through um, pretty much this church. One of the people in Eden Chapel that I spent a lot of time with invited me to come here. God saved me when I was at school in chapel. God saved me when I was watching a movie with my family. So when I was about 13 years old, I attended a judgment house at a local church. Before God, I just felt like there was a lot of stress in my life. And long story short, it was about the lives of two men. One was like the deacon of his church, a father, a man of faith, and the other wasn't and they both got into a car wreck and died. I started coming here in seventh grade when we were still in the dance studio. And as the other man was dying, he asked the Lord into his heart to save him. And so the next scene was their judgment day in heaven with Jesus. And the deacon, the man of faith that had been in church his whole life, had never actually asked God into his heart. And so he went to hell. And the other man had, and so he got to say he got to stay in heaven with Jesus. And I remember just one night sitting there, and God had spoke to me in a different way than He had any other time. And I just remember sitting there crying. And it was just like this incredibly powerful play because there was even a hell scene that you went down and saw. I was crying, and my dad came up and asked me why I was crying, and I said. I think God saved me. I had accepted Jesus into my life, and ever since then I have grown and just dove more and more into my relationship with God, and it's just been amazing. And so God convicted my own heart that night, and I asked Him to save me. And since then, I've recommitted my life to God. Um, during college, I went through some really trying times, trying to become something that I couldn't measure up to. And around about that same time, I started coming to church here, and I was dealing with depression and anxiety and like my own worth. But Aaron, God spoke through Aaron and just changed my life. And I just, he carved out this path for me that I never would have imagined. The impact I have for the kingdom moving forward is just to continue being a disciple and to make more disciples and just to continue to dive into my relationship with the Lord and just read more and more and learn more about Him. Yeah, I just hope to impact other people and just continue to like grow. Um, so I hope to impact God's kingdom by building it with more people. Um, I think that He's put me in the place that I am so that I can help make disciples for Him and I hope that I can glorify Him every step of the way. I'm being baptized because I want to show people around me who God is. I am being baptized because it shows everyone else around me that I'm a Christian. I feel like it's very important and needed in my life. I'm being baptized to follow God's commandment and to show the world that I'm His child. I am being baptized because after being saved, I've just really wanted to experience um, being baptized and I've always dreamed of it being in the river at Cades Cove and even though it was four years later I just feel like I've grown more and more and now is the time and I just am so excited. This is my friend Zoe. Zoe, have you repented of your sins and do you trust in Jesus Christ alone for your salvation? Right. And it's by your profession of faith that I now baptize you, my little sister, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, buried with Christ in baptism, raised to walk in newness of life.
that I now baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, buried with Christ in baptism, raised to walk in newness of life. That I now baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Very good to baptism. Woo! Raised to walk in this <laughs> That it is by your profession of faith that I now baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Buried with Christ in baptism. Raised to walk in newness of life. Layden, have you repented of your sins and do you trust in Jesus Christ alone for your salvation? Yes. All right, then it is by your profession of faith that I now baptize you, my little brother, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, buried with Christ in baptism, raised to walk in newness. Yeah.